right after that. The pastor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is cold, man. This is cold. What? what? <laughs> Snowman and his snow blower to blow the ops into pieces. With ops is overly pos uh, 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 positive pals. Jeezy has claimed in the past, and we talked about this as well before, RJ, that his estranged wife, Ginny Mai, has been gatekeeping their daughter. In a rebuttal to that statement, Ginny Mai and her legal team denies this accusation and voiced their concern about unsecure firearms being in Cheesy's home. So according to her, Cheesy has his blicky all over the place. And now the ops know that after this, the snowblower will not be all over the place. It's not the good news for a snowblower or a snowman. But yeah, uh, she no. has noted that she wants Jeezy to have full involvement in their daughter's life. But, but. there is always that but. And that but will always, and it's not, it's not the booty, it's not that but. It's the but that you always have in this situation. She is worried for the little one's safety because of this. You're a great guy. But I only see you as a friend. You performed well. But unfortunately, you have to go. I love you. But I love her too. We've been dating six months and it's been going so well. I want you. I think it's time. It's time for you to meet my wife. There's no but in that one, but it's just yeah, a man. funny oh, joke in the past. Yeah. Anyway. Well, that's a wild <laughs> one. I need you to meet my wife. I mean, and we need to live together. It's costing me too much money. I saw... <laughs> I saw that uh, th there wasn't a but there, but yeah, I just uh, that that one always stuck to me. Anyway, yeah. but yeah, uh, it's basically what what they are stating in the in the documents is essentially to clarify that Ms. Jenkins' insistence on reasonable safety measures uh, being put in place, yeah. such as safely securing and locking away all firearms that have been. Unsecured in the past. Yeah. As well as having familiarity and properly trained caregivers. Caregivers is not gatekeeping, but rather responsible effort to prioritize their, their daughter's well-being. They also add, these requests are grounded in Ms. Jenkins' genuine concern for party's daughter, safety, and security, especially when under the care of others and traveling across the country and are reasonable protective measures, not an attempt to restrict Ms. Jenkins access, Mr. Jenkins' access to their daughter. Recently, they have agreed upon a visitation schedule throughout the end of 2023. But this arrangement has become increasingly less feasible. So it seems like uh, someone is holding, won't say gatekeeping, according to, to her legal team. Yeah. The question is, KR... The question is, KR, were these, uh, what did they call it? What did she call it? Uh, were these firearms? 
unsecured in the past because it, they're saying that uh, firearms that have been unsecured in the past were they also unsecured when they were married you want me to go there <laughs> i'm just i'm just <laughs> want to go there? it's always great when you're together once you're not together it becomes a problem yeah that's it's where always, i want to hey, hey it's always great when you're together and he instructs you because he's a leader yeah once you break up it's, it's a mess. It's verbal assault yeah <laughs> Jonathan Majors yeah. he tried to instruct her to be oh we can use Jonathan Majors till the end of time as an example because he made so much crazy crazy well, like Michelle <laughs> Obama and he, Coretta he Scott wanted, King he wanted a white girl to be Coretta Scott King and I'm not, I'm not making about race but he wanted a white girl <laughs> but I don't want to make it about race. But he wanted to to to, to he, he instructed a white girl to become Coretta Scott King and a, and Michelle Obama in a very demanding way. It was great then, but now it's verbal assault. Yeah, it changes. It changes. And the funny thing is, and I'm, I'll I'll show you something that tells you that how how quick. How quick things can change out of nowhere. I'm going to share my screen with you. This is a Ginny Mai. Ginny Mai with their daughter, Monaco or Coco. And this is 15 weeks ago. Can you hear it? Yeah. No. Yeah. Can you hear it? Okay. Listen to what she has to say. Boom. Okay. Amy. Oh, yes, go, go. Um, boom. God. Oh, my gosh. How are you? I am. I'm fine. I'm fine. God. God. I want to thank you. And thank you. For my family. And family. God. God. I want to thank you. And thank you. For my food. And food. And God. God. Thank you. Thank you. Because my daddy, my daddy made the New York Times the bestsellers list. So God, God, thank you, thank you for my daddy, my daddy. and his work and to help people, help people believe in themselves. <laughs> Just like <laughs> he teaches <laughs> me. Amen. Amen. <laughs> 15 weeks ago. How things change. How things change. And it's sad because you can see the kid is a great kid. Great energy. Great energy. She is very happy. Yeah. And, and it's already. The whole, the, the whole marriage and divorce between the two was strange in the first place, but. I guess the the thing that that has me a bit confused is I thought I didn't think that a marriage that lasted two years or less than two years yeah less than two would end up like this you know with information over firearms I mean it's clear when you say I mean you you. Call me irresponsible without calling me irresponsible. Basically, yes. So but it's a, it is a targeted attack, and uh, you know, gatekeeping and protecting the two sides of the same coin. You can gatekeep with just grounds. So gatekeeping, gatekeeping, of course, has a negative connotation. But gatekeeping literally means: Who are you? What are you doing here? Do you have your passport? Do you have your ID? No, you can't come in, right? So that's basically game gatekeeping. You're putting, you have your rules based on which you decide who uh, is allowed to pass and who isn't under which conditions. So it is gatekeeping. The only question is whether it's valid or not. And I'm going to repeat it. Were these firearm issues a problem when they were married? And, and another question is... And why would you... Yeah. Because that's the thing, right? If you, you can, as a right, you, you're a lawyer, RJ. Yeah. You can, as, when you read this, 
the normal eye can will think he has his gun all the time laying around. Yeah, he's walking it. Uh, yeah, it could be that it happened only one time. Walking, yeah, walking around with the safety off, throwing it in the air. Yeah, juggling, juggling it. Juggling. Maybe he left it one time, and then that that is being used. In this case, I understand it's a safety for the kid, but come but on. But hey, it's the mom trying to, yeah, in this case, in this case, because it can also be the other way around, right? But in this case, it just seems just like it's the mom trying to hold on to the, trying to, it's like, I'm not, I'm not going to let you go, or I do, I want you to feel as hurt, because this hurts, a divorce hurts. On both sides. Definitely in her case. And yeah, but it's like expecting this. No, I don't think so. No, because uh he didn't she didn't get a heads up, right? It was just a blind side hit. Yeah. That's crazy. <sighs> crazy. But but she is trying to pick up her life and, and, and she clearly shows it on Instagram where she dropped last week a post where she said these are a few of my favorite things. Taking pictures, riding horses, mm -hmm. dining, hanging out with friends, hanging out with the daughter. And right after that. The pastor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is cold, man. This is cold. Oh, oh, but... 